Hey guys, Tom here. It's kind of a dreary day outside, so I'm working in the garage. Today I thought I'd show you uh, how to hang ventilated wire shelf. This is some stuff that I got. It's, I'm actually reusing it, but it's in great shape and we could all use more storage, especially in our garage. I'm going to put up the shelf. You can see I already have one up. I'm just going to, I have some more space here on the wall. I'm just going to continue it right on down. The important thing with shelving, you're going to be putting weight on it. You want to make sure that you get it installed into structure. So you want to make sure you find a stud in the wall. You can do it a lot of ways. Stud finder, the old, you know, tapping on the wall. Uh, I, I think the easiest way, especially in a garage like this, is I look for nail pops. There's, there's little bumps in the wall and they usually come in twos because when you install drywall, you put nails or screws around the edge and when you're installing in the field you, you do screws or nails in sets of two so there's a little bump there and a little bump there so i know that's a stud i mean it's a garage and i don't care so i'm going to mark it on the wall and then i can go 16 off of each one and find the next stud so I'm 16 here and I see two more nail pop. Now the first thing I want to do is I have, I want to, I set my height. I want to draw a level line. On the shelf, they hang with these little tabs. That, that sets in the wall and that's what hangs the shelf. So I'm going to strike a level line down from my, where I know there's a stud. So I have a line right here, and I'm pretty confident there's structure there. And if there's structure, this screw gun's going to start to ratchet. If not, it's just going to go right in. First try. So I mark, mark my 16-inch centers all the way around, all the way across. And I have to line up my shelf. Because this already has tabs on it, I got to see where I'm going to want them. Where my tabs are now, I just have to move them down two gaps to get them where I want them. And that's going to require a tool. A little screwdriver, this will work just to pry it open a little bit. It's one. If you're buying, if you're using new shelving, these tabs aren't going to be on here, so you're just going to install them. And there's a lot of different tabs. Go with what the manufacturer says. Obviously read the directions, which I currently don't have directions for these because these are reused. And the important thing is when you're putting these back on, make sure you put them on the right direction. Flat side against the wall. There we go. I have my one that I started already, so that's what I'm going to use to just hold this shelf up. But once you get one up, that'll kind of hold it. And then, once the second one's in, you're good. Okay. Part one is complete. Okay, obviously this doesn't make for much of a shelf just hanging here like this, so I gotta put these supports on. They clip on the, the front of the shelf and then they go into the wall and they support the weight of the shelf. Same drill, you have to put them in structure because you want them to be strong and hold up all your paint cans and your Christmas decorations and whatever else you got. So you need a little level or a big level or something that can get in between the and you have to level your shelf the shelf. So I'm level there and again I want to be in structure. So I'm just lining up I see another one of those nail pops here. Again the first one is the hardest and then move on to the next one.
these brackets, they have a little, they're curved, they hook around the top rail of the shelf and they also have a little notch. So you can either put them between the, the, the wires or at the wires. So you don't have to worry about the spacing wherever your studs are. Again, you check your level, set your screw. And that's it. I'm just going to finish up the other two. And that's it. Very sturdy shelf. Will carry a bunch of weight. And you can put all your stuff up there. Your paint cans. Well, I just have paint cans right now. But you get the drift. So that's an easy project, guys. Go out. Especially, you know, I think in a garage environment, this kind of shelving is very practical. It's not too expensive, even if you're not fortunate enough to have somebody give you some. This was actually from my sister-in-law. Thank you. So that's it for this easy project, guys. Please, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Homecraft Chronicles and see a lot more just like this. Until I see you next time, take care.